Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick tip about updating your radio. Now this happens to be the Radio Master TX16S but it's going to be the same for any radio that uses the 4-in-1 system. Now or the 5-in-1 system actually, but there are uh, some little wrinkles. If you've just updated to OpenTX, uh, proper OpenTX on the radio, and I'll put a link to my companion video to this one where I did just that, then when you power it on and you kind of scroll down to change things, you might see an error message that looks a little bit like this. That says something like, module upgrade recommended. Now that's because the software for the 4-in-1 has changed dramatically uh, since the last version that I downloaded and updated. The version number has jumped an awful lot. So in this video, let me show you how to do it. Dead simple. Uh, if you've done the OpenTX upgrade already, then great. Again, link to that video down below. But also, if you've done it and you get this error message, it's a really simple thing to fix. And it gives you a lot more functionality and fixes a lot of stuff and adds extra things in, which is always goodness, into the module. So let's jump onto the computer. I'll show you where to download the files from. So the first thing we need to do is to download the update for whichever radio or module that you have. Now this is the page that you're going to need to go to. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to put links below for everything. And uh, if you are using the multi-protocol software and getting enjoyment out of it, uh, don't just whiz past this bit. Just hit this and donate something to keep the project alive. Now, there's loads of information in here. We can go and download the latest links, and here it will show you the latest version. So this is much later than the one that's on my radio. This is 1.3.1.24, and there is a lot of updates. Uh, the number has jumped significantly, and this has only been out a couple of days. So you can see here all the new pieces, and there's also some Lua scripts as well. We definitely want all that. Now, the challenge comes is that when you scroll down and you look for the version for your radio, it looked really complicated. Uh, but don't worry, there's a simpler way to do it. If you go to this link here, uh, which you can get to by going through all the other pa uh, pages that I've just looked at, you can either go here and choose the kind of uh, module that you have and answer all these questions, or the simpler way to do it is just come over here on the left and just choose the version that you have. Obviously, I'm going to go for Radio Master TX16S, and there is the download link. So this is where I need to go. So I'm going to just cut and paste that into here. And then there are all the options. And don't be confused about these options. You just choose the one that is already on your radio. And it's going to be one of these three. The order of the channels listed here is designed to match the default order of the channels on your radio. It's got nothing to do with how the channels are put out by the module to your model. It's more about matching the aileron elevator throttle rudder or throttle elevator aileron rudder, whatever the default channel order is on your radio. The simple way to do it is just check what you've already got and use the firmware with the same order. Similarly with this I'm going to save the multi Lua scripts onto my desktop as well. With that done we can now pull the SD card from the radio and plug it into the PC. And here we have the SD card with all the pieces on it. So we need to go into the firmware directory and we need to copy in that bin file that we've just downloaded. There it is, 0.24. And then let's open that Lua script stuff as well. Um, but there's two Lua scripts. So what we'll do is we'll just copy those. Get rid of that. Go into the scripts. And we're going to paste it into here because that looks like where the new stuff is. I'll paste. Uh, replace files in the destination. There we go. So now we've done that, it's putting it back into radio. Let's go back on the bench and finish the update. So let's put the SD card back into the radio. Probably the right way up. There we go. And we'll turn the radio on and go through the update process. Welcome to OpenTX. 
So we're going to go into the system menu and uh, let's just go and page across enter the firmware's directory there's the file that we downloaded so we're going to press and hold enter and it says flash internal multi or flash external multi we want the internal multi so we're going to hit enter and then what we're going to do is just going to let it do everything don't touch it uh, always make sure I'd recommend that you have uh, a well charged battery for this so nothing reboots in the middle and it's just going to carry on so I'm not speeding this up I'm going to show you exactly how long it takes nearly there flash successful enter let's return out of that I'm just going to power it all off I do like to just power cycle stuff like this once you've done a firmware update it doesn't tell you to but it's just old habits die hard and now if I go into the model menu so press and hold the model if I go down to where it was before Here we go. We now have the new version and that warning has disappeared. So that's the trick. If you're going to update OpenTX, I'd also go through the process of updating this. There's an awful lot of new stuff in version 0.24. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.